Chen. I am Lee Dorian. And I'm Carol and Baha. It's been a hard minute. Yeah, it has. It's been a hard uh, minute since we've been here. Yeah. Together, just the three yes. of us. Yes, at the same time. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. last you know. we had Danny Che on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then was the New Year special. Mm-hmm. So yeah. we haven't had the time to just... No, but like between the New Year special and Danny Che, we've been shooting the gaming stuff. So oh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. true. We've been doing a lot of stuff with other people. Behind yeah. the scenes. Yeah. Which will be coming soon. Geeks yes. Retro comes back. Bigger yes. and better next than month. ever. Oh, next yes. month. Oh, mm-hmm. next month. Yeah, yep. speaking of which, we've got, we've got a few videos coming out next month. So if you'd like to see that, subscribe to our YouTube channel <laughs> at youtube.com slash Geeks in Malaysia. YouTube exclusive? Yes. <laughs> You'll only see sneak previews on Instagram. The full videos will be on our YouTube channel. <laughs> but of course, you fucks only like to watch 30 second videos. Yeah. So you just want to watch our Instagram. Reels. Or TikToks. Uh, <sighs> how is our TikTok doing? Eh, actually, every time I post a new video, we get new followers. So it's, it's a steady stream. Are they... Okay, are those followers then finding the podcast? Aha. Uh-huh. Our Instagram has been increasing the last week or so. Like every day I'm seeing new followers coming in, which is okay. good. Oh, great. It's hey guys, like, hey new followers. Hey. Well, nice to meet you. Hey, uh, but the episodes are a bit hit and miss. It all depends on the topic. Mm. Okay. Like the New Year's one, not so much. The Black Panther one was a lot. So I guess also it's down to the topic a uh, little does bit. Does it mean la. we have to go watch Avatar Way of Water? Oh. <sighs> I mean, uh, time, has time has passed. Time has passed. It's fine. No need to watch Avatar. It's Avatar. If you want to watch it, it's it's nice to look at. <laughs> Not much story. It's Eva, Eva went to watch it and <laughs> she came back and I was like, "How was Avatar?" I was like, it was Avatar. It's Avatar. No? That's that's her response. I was like, she's like, and I'm like, what does that mean? And she's you speaking- know, it's beautiful. I mean, you know, they, they better the, I mean, they better the fuck like win the fucking Oscar for visual effects. Ah. I mean, uh, come on, guys. Like, if it doesn't win, ah, it's a bit like the... Uh, what? I mean, there were two or three people that did ask, are you guys going to talk about Avatar? To which I said, maybe we will. So yeah, that's that's us bro, talking, talking about, about Avatar. about Avatar right now. Bro, bro, bro. This one, ah. I haven't seen the to first s- Avatar. Exactly. There's I have so managed much- to escape it. Yeah. Yes. There's so much backstory, you know. Yeah, so catch up. Is there a lot catch of backstory up. to watch really, the second actually, one? No, I think, no I, not I think, really. I think you're just going in blind also still can. Because they'll still explain what the major events that happened in the first did you, film. Did you watch it? The I, white I man wants watched, yeah. the minerals, right? It's the same story <laughs> as the first one. So, the second one, I mean, this is not a spoiler. This is essentially the story. So, Jay Sully is Avatar now. Uh, and he... No, he's a Navi, sorry. No, Jay Sully! Yeah. And turns out that the humans are back to destroy Pandora again. Uh, so, he has to escape. And then the humans come after him. Again, and he has to save the world from the humans again. And, and save the, the whales. And the humans yes. want the unobtainium. Yeah. Again. Unobtainium. Again. Like, again. To me, it's like, <laughs> I mean, that's a name that's hitting it right on the, on the fucking head. No, because it's unobtainable. Oh, so I don't, like, very on the yeah. nose. Like, we don't really care what we call it as long as it's unobtainable. Yeah. Unattained. Which is actually like on par with how people have been naming shit in Latin these days. <laughs> like it used to be like, let's think about this shit, make it sound like, oh, cinematarium destoporatarsia. But but, yeah. but it actually just means what it says. Yeah. In Latin. But nowadays it's like you know like oh shit, this thing kind of looks like something from Battlestar, so it's called the Battlestarus Galacticus. Is that real? I'm not sure about Battlestar okay. Galacticus, but I'm like. Silonius. There, there, there are like, you know, like people discover new species and like sometimes they're named after pop cultural references, which is fair. Kind of cool, but at the same time, it's like a bit lazy. So, Beavitus and Bed Hardicus? Oh, if only they could find something that would warrant a Beavis. A farting thing? But that farts. <laughs> something Asterix that farts. and Oblix makes Beavis and Butt <laughs> There's a time machine. They go a back. Grandus to- Conholius. Oh. <sighs> Yes. He becomes Roman Emperor or some shit. I need TP for my bungle. <laughs> oh my god. But yes, Avatar is Avatar. If you haven't <laughs> if you haven't seen it yet, okay. it's three hours and nineteen minutes oh, of Jesus. visual effects. Yeah. I mean, okay. 
credit visually it's a spectacle it's, it's really stunning. nice it's stunning it's everything with all the boys said avatar one holds up i'm sure avatar two will hold up yeah you know but you want to see sigourney weaver as a 14 year old sure you want to see kate winslet hold her breath for seven minutes sure yeah uh, but technically, though, I didn't, I didn't, I did, I don't, know, I don't have the details. But apparently, according to my my free diver group, like she did basically what we call technical free diving. Okay. So she, in, so underwater, like so n- normally free diving, we <gasps> and then go down, right? Mm. She was huffing in pure oxygen, which is why she could stay down for so long. She but, must have been high as fuck. Yeah. But here's I my mean, th- but I mean, it's it's still a talent, and it's still it's it's still a skill that you need to learn, and please practice practice it safely, okay? But you know, it's 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 also it's slightly more achie- it's slight ever so slightly more achievable if you're having pure oxygen, yeah. Is so it, please don't try and push yourself needlessly, okay? Because she do it with pure oxygen now. We have actually seventy percent nitrogen in the in the normal air, okay? You're really assuming our listeners are fucking idiots. I don't know, man. <laughs> I mean, hey, bro, sometimes it's expensive and solely, man. It better save and solely. But here's my thought, you know. She spent seven minutes underwater. The whole film's fucking CGI. <laughs> yeah. No, see, because. You know why? Because it's fucking James Cameron. Like, no. Water shit's got to be done real. Because no. I live in the water, bitch. No, no, yeah. but, no but apparently also, like, where water is inspired because James Cameron really got into diving and really got into deep sea of stuff. Of course he yeah. got, He's yeah. always been into deep yeah. sea stuff. That he loves his water. Will not let go of the Titanic. Yeah. He's now doing scientific uh. research and he's come to the conclusion that yes, Jack may not have been able to fit on that. No, uh, I love that. Door. I, love, I love the he, fact what, that. What, really? Yeah, he's. Hey, been, I, I, didn't, I saw, I saw no, the video, but he's doing he a actually, documentary about it. No, no, he, there's a video out. They actually tested it out. Oh, they've done it already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's been proven and he had to kind of eat crow and go, like, I guess Jack could have survived. Yeah. Yeah. Because he could have. You don't need a physics degree to figure that out. That door was big. But here's the thing and Leo at that age was a fucking stick. <laughs> Leo and Winslet now could still fit on that piece gigantic door. No, I think Leo would would Sing. be a hazard now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's enjoying his dad bod. Yeah. I, I like I like the fact that he looks like, hey, models still want to hang with me on New Year's, so fuck you. Let's go to my yacht. I'm Leonardo DiCaprio. No, here's the thing about Cameron though. Like, I know he loves his water. I don't know why he loves his water this much, but he all like, came from the water. It feels like he's forcing it on everyone. Yeah. Like, I love water. You love water. You get inside. But the film CGI. I don't care. We're filming in water. Why doesn't he just become the new Jacques Cousteau, and just take all that talent? You just fucking, you know, team up with Attenborough. Go like, okay, you do land, I'll do water. You don't think he's really thinking about it? Like I just had this thought. Like Tom Cruise wanted to film a film in space. I just had a thought. Maybe Attenborough's like, I'm not working with him. <laughs> <laughs> Attenborough's like, oh, he's a handful. You, 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 your vibe is not jiving with my vibe. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, um, Avatar. Can I, can well, I miss something? Yes. About that? I have. This is gonna sound like a sin to the geek community and to the filmmaking community, but fuck it, I'm gonna say it. I have not been excited about a Cameron film since Terminator 2. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, that's yeah, fair. Because a lot fair, of people love fair. True Lies, mm, right? Which is a TV series coming soon. And I've never said this out publicly, but honestly, True Lies, uh, mm, yeah. Lots of people love it. Like, it's a brilliant action film. It's a brilliant. I'm like, how does his wife not realize he's not a salesman? Why would a salesman look like a fucking lumberjack from Austria? He does not need to be physically that big to do his job. Okay, I have an argument for you there. Because of the time it was filmed. Who would believe Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito are twins? Okay. The science of that (laughs) is more plausible to me. They were made in a fucking lab. And not all twins are identical. Yeah, they're fraternal twins. Yeah. So I know I, I know a pair of fraternal twins. They're, they're down the road from me. They're fraternal twins and they're lab rats. Then name me this. What journalist looks like Clark Kent? Dude, uh, uh, oh, saying that bro. is doing a disservice to every actor who's played Clark Kent. Do you see the physical transformation <laughs> Christopher Reeve does to his body? Yeah. To that play is true. Clark Kent. That is true. Okay. You know? But... Anyone who's played Clark Kent realizes I need to look big as Superman, but small as Clark Kent. Granted... Henry Cavill, mm. he was lumberjacking in his backyard. To me, that's because Zack Snyder Wanted. will never hide a muscle. <laughs> he won't hide his own muscles. 
Yeah. Does he have Just muscles? Like, he does have Oh, yeah, muscles. yeah. He's fucking built like a brick shit house. Even in Teen Titans Go, he was working out. You know? So fucking, it's just like Michael Bay. Michael Bay will always have beautiful hair on set. Ask any actor. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't understand. His hair's gorgeous on set. Like yeah. Wes Anderson? I mean, Wes More is Wes. So, no, 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 no. Michael Bay's flows in the wind in slow motion whilst the camera rotates. He could oh. do L'Oreal ads. Yeah. You know? And then Zack Snyder, watch him on set and you're like, that shirt's a bit tight. You gotta show the guns. Yeah. So Clark Kent, like, we can't hide the guns. He's Clark Kent, man. You're supposed to hide the guns so that no one knows. But then again, in that movie, he just walked around without glasses. <laughs> it really seems like all of Smallville knows he's Superman, but shush. Because <laughs> his, ch- his high school friend that works at the fucking Waffle House is like, oh shit, Clark is a badass. <laughs> Everybody in Smallville knows. They're not saying it for some reason. None of them are dropping dime on Superman. Even though he fucked up their town. <laughs> Especially the 7-Eleven and the Waffle House. I and other remember. brands that sponsored the movie. I cannot remember this movie. I can I only remember the Kevin Costner scene going... There you go. Actually, that's a good question. I, I should go and watch that film again. Because I've forgotten a lot about that film. But yeah, dude, he's just walking around in a lumberjack shirt listening to fucking Pearl Jam. Yeah, I know that. You know, doing just, odd jobs. And then he saved a lot of people before he turned into Superman without glasses again. And everyone's like, we couldn't see him through the... Like, he was working on your fucking oil rig. Of course you saw him. Like, I don't remember him being a reporter at all in the in that film. Oh, no, at the end, no, at the end of the movie, he got the job. No one explains oh. how he got the job. Sure. Motherfucker does not have a journalist degree. <laughs> he has how he can just suddenly become an on-the-ground writer for the top newspaper in that <laughs> city is like wow man because and cause he looks the way he does correct me if i'm wrong i don't think he had any writing experience before that i don't think we ever saw him write yeah exactly batman v superman the entire b plot at the daily planet is Lawrence fishman going where's my fucking article <laughs> <laughs> oh my god is he illiterate <laughs> is superman illiterate no Oh my god! Can you imagine Superman writes like Charlie from Sunny and Philadelphia? <laughs> <laughs> Go here now then. If but today we do. Like, what? <laughs> and that's just his panel in, in the Daily Planet and the and Lord uh, Fisher is like Ah he he brings the, the people in, fuck it. <laughs> and also in yeah, Batman v Superman, he's asking him to write a sports article. He's a sports writer? <laughs> yes. You just let anyone write anything in this newspaper? No, that's why I said because he's illiterate, it doesn't need to make <laughs> sense anyway. Oh, sports bandy coming for you. Oh, it's the special ed article in the <laughs> fucking newspaper. <laughs> but apart from him, Tom Welling worked to hide his body. Eh, yeah, okay. Dean Kane tried to hide it. I mean, the new guy, the one that's super loose, he doesn't need to do a hard job because he's, he's still very... He's, he's quite lean. He's yeah. muscular when he's in the suit, but he's lean enough that a baggy shirt will be fine. But yeah. Zack Snyder is like, no, you can't wear a baggy shirt. All shirts must be tight. Like, all I remember of that first film is he, him in his backyard with the laundry flowing in the wind yeah. and his muscles and hair and like... Dude, Zack Snyder made Commissioner Gordon bulk up. Yeah, I, I still don't understand that. Because underneath that coat, there's got to be a tight shirt. No, but... So we can see muscles. No, now it's being put to good use. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the Rock's new film. I'm We're pretty sure because he's Bob like, Santa. God damn it, like, why did I do this? Yeah, because, because especially at that age, now you got to keep it up. And Because when that picture first came out of him, of J.K. Simmons in the gym getting jacked for his role Ooh. as Commissioner Gordon and he's on screen in an overcoat the entire film and you're like, uh, for, for uh, what? So he, okay, he has a more defined jawline, but like... That's about it. He's wearing an overcoat and a hat. Why did he have to bulk up? He wasn't... I just want to understand why. Was he promised something? Was Commissioner Gordon going to... No, because if you're a man in a Zack Snyder film, you must have muscles. Name a non-muscular man in a Zack Snyder film who is not comedic relief. Aha. Because even The Flash, who is supposed to be lean as fuck, yeah. is Jack. Think about it. Dude, even in 300... The deformed guy had muscles on his deformities. <laughs> I was trying to think of the zombie film he did, the one with Batista, and I'm like... And? Because he said not for comedic relief. 
Yeah. yeah. Cause I'm thinking of the Swedish guy, the the German, yeah, yeah the German guy, and he's the funny guy. Yeah, and he even he is quite lean. He's quite, quite lean. toned. He's quite toned. He's not tubby. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. You know? so even e- even even the zombies had muscles. Yeah. Oh yeah. The, the king zombie. Yeah. With the muscles. Helmet. Yeah. Muscles. Oh my god! You're right. Oh my god. He's I a didn't gym realize, bro. I he didn't realize it till now. Is that what you think bodybuilders do all the time? Yeah. <laughs> They're going to the and then someone calls him. He's like, "What? <laughs> They're not a wrestler twenty four seven. They point like, oh, where's the gym? Over there. <laughs> <sighs> okay, how <Hulk> Hogan? <laughs> Anywho. Anyway, so Avatar, if you want to watch it, I think it's still showing in cinemas. Not as much muscles as a Zack Snyder film, but. There's, There's no, no CGI no, muscles. No, 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 no. There are muscles because the water people are coincidentally, very obviously, Samoan. So they all have yeah, the muscles. Yeah, the tattoos and shit. Yeah, I was like, are you trying to say, it's okay, it's fine. I, I, I want to know how. Uh, there's going to be, what, three more? Hey. Huh? Two more? Two more, two more. It's, it's four. I because it was I, five. No, I figured it out. He's doing all the elements. But what about the fifth element? <laughs> we'll leave that to to, to Can you imagine the fifth movie Jean-Luc? like yes. everything's Jean-Luc going Luc. to hell and then Mila Jovovich just pops up and just goes ah! <laughs> <laughs> and it turns out it was a fifth element tie-in all along that was his plan <laughs> to make five movies oh! to tie in the Avatar world with oh! fifth element and then Bruce Willis pops up in a cab and takes back Jake Sully oh, Jesus Christ Boom! where's, where's, where's uh, Chris Tucker and all this you gotta have it back. He's he's just commentating he's the on the whole thing. He's oh, he's a, a narrator. He ah, is nice. the best yes. character yes. in fucking Fifth yeah. Element. <laughs> no, so... I'm gonna tell you about the story, man. My man, Jake Corbin. So apparently... Come on, my man. God damn it. <laughs> no, because it made sense. Because, okay, the first film was land. Second film is water. Third film, he wants to do fire. So, Lavala. <sighs> Maybe. And there's good, he's going to introduce bad navis. What? Bad navvies. Because so far, we've only seen good ones. Now we're going to have bad ones. Oh, of course, then the fire. No, no, no. Man, is man, he, man, okay, man. wait, wait. Is he trying to pitch for Avatar, the TV series? No. It's already being made, you know. Because hey. why is Fire Nation, why is Fire Nation always evil? Because fire, devil, <laughs> rock. <laughs> fire. Okay, so the next one is fire, and then? And then fourth one will be air. And then after that. But they're flying already, what? No, but no, now no. they must fight no, the no, other no. flying people. Maybe, yeah, maybe there are avatars that live in the air. Like, you know those floating... Which they've just never seen. Those floating... Hey, we never saw the water ones. Now we're fire ones. Did they go in the water in the first movie? No. Ah. Mm, see? I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. Because James Cameron's like, you guys ain't ready for water yet. Because... Is he trying to make... Maybe we should remake Water World. Actually, Ooh. yeah. You know what? If James Cameron remake yeah. Water World, yeah, I'd watch what? that. That just sounds like perfect sense. Why hasn't he? Or is he even like... Or is even he that- pissed off like, that was my idea? Or maybe he's just like, why didn't you call me? I like I'm water. the king of the water, bitch! <laughs> James Cameron. No, that- it, should be, it should be reversed because he's in search of water. Because the whole point oh, of right. water is <laughs> in, in search, search of, of dry land. land. Uh, so this should be... In- yeah, so, he, know, he needs a reverse. The- he needs to have Kevin Costner walking around the desert for two hours until he finds the ocean. No. Yeah. You know what I want now? Hey, Gun, I know you're not listening because why, <laughs> why the fuck are you? James Cameron directs Aquaman 3. No, no. Oh, no. Why are you giving why? that idea? Ooh, why no. are you putting the uh, universe? I, I, I uh, no. I don't know. I just can't. James Cameron for superhero movies. Has he done it? It'll be deep. He was really be emotional. developing a Spider Man movie. Are you serious? Oh yeah, this was news. Like they, they even released like recently, like a month or two ago, they released like someone released the artwork for what a Spider Man would have been. Ooh, because you know concept art and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and I remember, and he wanted Arnie to play Doctor Octopus. I think that explains everything, really. Yeah, because he did a fantastic job as Mister Freeze. This was before Mister Freeze. Mm. Yeah. Okay. To be fair, of that time. I am a scientist. I made these legs put on my back. It was either that or Sly. 
Why is it the cho- why is the choice Arnold Schwarzenegger sly for fucking Doctor Octopus? Van Damme. <laughs> Steven Seagal is Doc. Oh, he just flips you like that. He just flips. God. His arms don't even touch you. It just flips. <laughs> the most non-expressive Doc Ock ever. <laughs> <sighs> See this gal with those goggles? You really won't be able to read his fucking expression. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, I was. When he starts playing the blues, lost claiming his need to America. <laughs> yeah, apparently he's a really good blues guitarist. Okay, then, good. Yeah, good guitarist. Have you heard him sing? You can't, oh, I haven't heard him sing. No, you can't make out shit he's saying. <laughs> that impression I just did is accurate. <laughs> he's expressing his creativity, man. <laughs> <laughs> That is all I hear when I hear <laughs> when I hear him sing. But his guitar so, playing is good. His guitar playing is good. I'll give him that. Just they, they should make a super band. So you have Steven Seagal on guitar, Arnie on vocals, Arnie on vocals. Steven macho, on macho man. Yes. Oh God. I <laughs> want to be the macho man. <laughs> Moving on. Yes. Well, speaking of James Gunner, yeah, yeah. Ah, yes, the That's announcement a good segue. just popped up in the middle of the night. I was like, literally yeah. like, it was what mm. past midnight. I don't know. I, I mean, I got. I mean, it's YouTube. not past midnight for them. No, not for them. No, for, for, for us. us. Yeah. I got news of it the day before because the reports coming out that oh, James oh. Gunn's going to announce something tomorrow. So I was, I did already have a heads up, but I just didn't know. Oh, to the extent. Oh, oh. So they are releasing the Flash. <laughs> yes. And he said he's the and greatest superhero film of all time. It's obvious. <laughs> I feel bad because they're, they're doing exactly what comic the comics do. Yep. Yep. Well, everything's all messed Crisis. up. Crisis. Fucking make the Flash run. Yeah. Flash. Yeah. Go run, Barry. Run, this, Barry. Run. This is literally history repeating itself in the comics oh, and in the film yes. universe. No, I mean, we kind of all knew that shit like that would happen. I was yeah. like, ah, Flashpoint. No, but what I like is how much Gun is now transforming it into literally an adaptation of comics like what happened in the comics is now on screen because yeah. now we're getting Elseworlds as well yeah for like, the, okay. all the standalone that, that was nice how you know like uh, our past Joker and um, no sorry no, our, our past uh, Batman River, River Batman Phoenix. and Joaquin uh, Phoenix Joaquin's a Joker Joaquin, Joaquin, yeah. sorry, Joaquin Joker those are Elseworlds yeah. which to me is great because now you're bringing the concept of Elseworlds in and if it's branded as that I think yeah. that'll help clarify yeah so much and also give a lot of room yeah I feel it gives a lot more creative freedom yeah. to tell stories that might not be canon with the yeah. whole big scheme of things because at least then it's like okay is this going to be an Elseworlds or is this going to be canon no mm. and, 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 and I mean is it also great that he knows the lingo yeah <laughs> yes exactly and also the stuff that he's chosen are pretty deep cuts as well yeah now I'm like okay let's do this no, I, okay. I, I, I ain't heard a half name okay so you have what was first before the Flash was Wait, Aquaman me, or was it Flash first let me whip it out before we get factually incorrect about half of it, probably. Again, like you to reiterate, if you want facts, out. you go to Goggler. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs> yes. I, I mean, keep talking as I, as I find this. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He's going to whip it out. Whip yeah. it out. <laughs> <laughs> I want the list. The list. Give me the list. Yeah, so uh, James Gunn, lots of... I yeah. I don't know half the stuff that he's... Ta- I'm like, you know what? I bet you I no am, one's written it out as a proper list. I am, because of course someone yeah. has. I, 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 I mean, I'm just going to be along for the ride because, you know, in, mm. in, in Gunn I trust. I was... For now. When he first started talking, at first I was like, I, I'll admit, I was in a very like, okay, motherfucker, impress me. <laughs> you were like... <laughs> because I, I really wanted to see like, are you a company man? Are you going to be like, fuck it. We're gonna do something crazy. What are you gonna be? And this is the guy that gave you slither. His announcement was great. Yeah, I thought like his his PR work is great. Of course he is. It's obvious like he's the public face. Yep. You know of the two, um, he's quite a silver fox now. I, I can't believe how great he got over the pandemic. Just, just embracing the silver. But it's a good <laughs> silver. I like it. Mm-hmm. You know. And yeah, like have you got the list yet? If not, then we're just gonna make it up. No, because I, I remember what they are. I just don't remember the order. Okay, okay, okay. At least for this year, for this year at least, the slate for this year is Shazam, which is coming yeah, yeah, in so March. Shazam first, then Flash in mm-hmm. June, mm-hmm. Blue Beetle in August, ah. and Aquaman in December. Okay, yeah. So like, like from the top, Shazam. I do like how he said like they've been kind of doing their own thing, so it doesn't mess with anything. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So Shazam can still continue. Yeah. Flash is obviously the one like, okay, now here's where we reset, which does make me wonder, did they have to reshoot another ending? Oh, God. 
I would not be surprised. Right? How Because over budget is this movie? No, but whatever they, Flashpoint ending they already did was what they considered a fact fix they, back then. Yeah. And are they are they going to always going to be recasting Barry? Eh? Have they, I have don't. They, okay, here's the thing. I don't know yet because no. Gunn has seemed to come out in support of Ezra, saying that oh, he is getting some help. He is on the road to recovery, and the fact that this is coming from James Gunn himself, although that could also be just the good PR, PR to PR make sure to people watch, watch the Flash, the Flash, mm. so that they're not put off by the yeah. Flash. Okay, so that we can at least like okay, appreciate Ezra for the performance he did, but yeah. now let's move on. Yeah. But what's worrying is how Gunn is now claiming that the Flash. Is the greatest superhero film he has ever seen, which is it I mean, could be maybe a PR it is. Thing. Maybe it's a really good film. Hmm. But my prediction, I'm not going to say spoilers because we've never seen the movie. Yeah. But my prediction, if Gunn is you know keeping it real to the comics, right? And the TV shows have already done a flashpoint, mm. right? Like they started off like. From the start of season two, you saw Flashpoint coming a mile away. Mm. Actually, just from the start of season one, the way they set up Barry, you saw the Flashpoint coming a mile away because Eobard Thorn killed his mama, right? Um, but in the 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 famous crisis um, in the eighties, mm -hmm. Crisis on Infinite Earths, I think it was. Was that the eighties? That was the nineties. Eighties. No, that was okay. the eighties. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So pre Flashpoint. In that crisis, that 12-issue run, Barry died to save everyone mm. and the timeline and mm. whatever. Mm. And that is something that could be used mm. to wrap up Ezra's story. And the Snyderverse. And, Maybe. you know, leave him with the legacy so it's not tainted, but yeah. then still move on. Mm. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if it's like... if. Barry dies to save everyone. Mm. That makes you can, sense. Okay. You can see the marketing's already trying to make sure people get into um, the Flash because I've noticed on Warner Brothers YouTube, they did a recut of the '89 Batman movie trailer. Okay. They did a modern recut. Oh. Oh. In 4K. Oh yeah. To entice, and it's obviously it's to entice yeah. young people to watch. Batman 89 so that you're familiar with Michael Keaton's character yes mm -hmm. so that when you go into The Flash you're like oh that's who this guy is yeah because mm. all us old fucks know who he is yeah but the younger like, ones young people, he's it forever you know he's not just a vulture yeah that's true he's not just a vulture he's not yeah. just a vulture yeah so, or Birdman I wouldn't be surprised and then it does make me also wonder as well Aquaman 2 <laughs> they've reshot a lot of that already because <gasps> of Amber Heard <sighs> And now, hearing all these rumors about, uh, what's his face, fucking... What's his face? Uh, Momoa? Drago. <laughs> Momoa. Dr yes, Momoa. Momoa, yeah. Momoa! I like Drago. <laughs> you know, like, Momoa being, like, it's kind of like, is he getting a different role in the DC? Is he gonna what? be... No, oh, oh, okay. Is he gonna be yeah. Lobo? Yeah, I'm like, come on. He's built and he's made for Lobo, please. Uh, so it does make you wonder, like, are they gonna... Flashpoint him out of Aquaman and he's gonna appear again as the Bastiche from the space with his who believes in the great dolphin. But okay, here's the thing. <laughs> I yeah, don't, it's, it's weird. He, his religion is dolphin. I don't know whether <laughs> they really. would because Aquaman is coming out in December. So if it's revealed that he's transforming into Lobo for Flashpoint. Yeah, I mean, the, in effects, crisis. the effects of the whatever crisis the Flash movie has. Yeah. I mean, the Aquaman movie is also going to have to address it. Because I don't want him to come just as a... Uh, spoilers a for Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. I don't want it to be a Krasinski one time. Oh. Ah, that's what I'm worried. No, no, no. I mean, because Lobo doesn't have to... Doesn't have to make an appearance at Crisis. Yeah. They just need to wrap up that Earth, right? Yeah. So, you know, so they just need to make a decision. And it could just be that, you know, oh, this Aquaman adventure will be the last that we see Momoa. Because, uh, um, because okay. uh, like, you know, this happened at the same time as Crisis or yeah. literally right before Crisis. They just need to write this small thing, mm. just a one-liner to explain where it sits in the whole timeline yeah. of this entire thing. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, because we can, we, we can watch movies not in chronological order. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's true. You know? Okay, and, guys? And as for Blue Beetle, like, I know a lot of people were worried that it was going to get canned. Yeah. Because of the Batgirl and then James Gunn. And, like, is Who's Blue... playing Blue Beetle again? Uh, dude from uh, Karate Kid. 
Yeah, I can't remember okay. his name. Kid from uh, oh right, Cholo. Right, 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 right. You guys, you guys. I think his name's Cholo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but what's interesting about the I whole X O L O? That's Cholo, right? Cholo. Yeah, I think we had this yeah. conversation. Before. Yeah, yeah, we've had the conversation. Yeah. No, but what what's interesting now is the whole Bad Girl saga. There's a new chapter in this saga about how the producers now say that it's actually unreleasable, and I'm like. So it's got nothing to do with the tax benefits? Now it's got nothing to do about the tax benefits, but now it's unreleasable. And I'm like... They said that before the tax shit came out, though. They did say that before the tax shit came out, though. Like, you know, like, it's unfit for the public to see it. Which... But I'm like... Okay. How did you let it get that far? To me, I I, I, I don't want to sound mean. It's going to come across as mean anyway, so fuck it. But uh, it's directed by the guys who did Bad Boys 3. And there's Bad Boys 4 coming. You know, but um, those regular listeners know I have no love for Bad Boys 3. Mm. And I'm sorry, like, hey man, maybe it's unreleasable. Maybe it actually is unreleasable. Who knows? Well, Will Smith comes in and... Yeah! <laughs> oh God, no. Oh, why? Oh. Jaden comes in his white Batman suit that he wore for Kim and Kanye's Oh party. God. Batman, 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 Batman. Batman. <laughs> He went to a wedding dressed as fucking Batman. I don't want to. He has a song. I don't want to. I don't want to. And running around other people's tables just fucking shit up because he's Batman. I don't want to. But, okay, coming to James Gunn's slate, in in case y'all haven't heard the news. So, in terms of TV shows, Mm -hmm. what he's announced is Amanda Waller's coming back for her own TV show, Waller. Is it still going to be... One by one. So yeah, yeah, Waller. Is Waller. it still going to be... Uh, yep. yeah. It's Viola Davis, it, and it's going to be a HBO show. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Deceit, intrigue, and HBO. So probably some bums going up and down. Yes. All better off. And the other mm-hmm. piece of news that made Bahia very happy, which is Lantern. Lanterns! Of course this made him of happy. Of course, I Especially know. Especially the fact that he said like, it's going to be like True Detective. I'm like, that's a high fucking bar. Immediately <laughs> text the goggle, Bahia is really... Yep, he is very happy. Mm-hmm. It's going to be Jon Stewart going, entire universe is a flat circle. <laughs> no, not Jon Stewart. It should be... Uh, who would be like that? Hal. Hal would be like that. Jon Stewart's like, what the fuck are you saying, man? <laughs> I'm sorry, though, but fucking come on. I know I know he's no one's favorite Green Lantern. <laughs> who? Um, dude with the bowl cut. What the fuck was... Uh, Guy Gardner. Oh. I'm sorry, that's my favorite lantern. I want to see a guy god. I want to see Guy Gardner in the show being a dick. I love especially how he was written in the 80s and 90s, where he was such a colossal dick that people are like, "How did he even get the fucking ring? <laughs> how did the ring? The, the ring chose him out of desperation." Oh no! When he was first introduced, he was not as dickish, and then <laughs> the power got to his head. <laughs> Oh, there was one point. With ba- absolute power comes absolute <laughs> corruption. Like, one thing he's never been able to live down is that Batman knocked him out with one punch. Because <laughs> uh, I think it was like, yeah, they were creating Justice League International, or just, like a new Justice League. Uh. And then, of course, he's like, why the fuck should you be the leader? Come on, let's throw down. Bam, a pop. <laughs> like, wow. How's your ring now, bitch? <laughs> that worked out well for you. <laughs> but yeah, True Detect is a high bar, but mm. that was going to be HBO Max, right? I think so, yes. Yeah. And then we've got Creature Commandos. I don't know too yeah, much about that. Yeah, I don't that. know too much about. All I know, that's a cartoon, but I saw the weasel was there. We'll so see. that's tying in with what he's saying, with tying in the cartoons and the games and the movies yeah. with the, you know, all together in one universe, which makes me go, so what happens to the Suicide Squad game that's supposed to come out? Because that's not tied into shit. Has it come out yet? It hasn't come no, out yet, right? No. Aha! Hey, you've delayed it twice. Don't delay it a third ah. time, please. I n- far. Are they going to have to make new skins? Are they going to have to redo the plot? Ah-ha-ha-ha! Hey, no, but it shouldn't because... They don't look the same as uh, Wallace Suicide Squad. Because he didn't say all the games. That's the thing. He didn't say every single one. No, no, no one. but like, basically from now on. Yeah. yeah. Intimate, so that's the intimate. thing, like... Is he gonna say like, hey man, uh, could you change the skins on these? Or is he gonna be like, you know what, let's just release it first and then we'll do the tie-ins. What do yeah, you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think they'll release it first and do the tie-ins. Uh, yeah. yeah. So uh, that's Creature Comforts. Comforts. And we got Booster Gold. <laughs> that one, that's well, such a James Gunn choice. <laughs> <laughs> that so is such... Oh, come on, like, even I'm going like, a lot of these are very James Gunn choices. No, but Booster Gold, like, 
I can imagine him making that character work. That character's a fucking idiot. If he made Polka Dot Man work, like, and gave him such a deep backstory as well. Yeah, Booster Gold, though, he's such yeah. a... He's a fucking failed American football player. Hey. Who's just using Redemption. news from the future to be a superhero in the present. Which is... Isn't that the plot of that fucking TV show where the guy always has a newspaper from the day after? Uh, morning, uh, early and, edition. Yeah, and tries to uh. save people. Yeah, Booster Gold is that uh. with sci-fi tech. I love early edition. I miss that show. You so know. yeah, there's, there's Booster Gold and then there's also Paradise Lost. Yeah, which one's that one? I'm not sure, but... Is that a picture? Which one? No, there's not. I don't not, remember them yeah. saying Paradise Lost. Oh. No, no, no. I, mm, which one's Paradise Lost? I can't remember. Just, I will Google Paradise Lost. Move Thank on. you. I mean, you, you might get a lot of old text for Paradise Lost. <laughs> yeah, Paradise Lost DC. Uh, yeah. <gasps> just but, refine. Okay. I'm not a very smart person. I'm just very, go- I'm just very effective at Google. Moving on to the movie slate, uh-huh. we're getting Superman Legacy, which is, of course, okay. that origin story he wants to do with Superman. That one has been the one that a lot of people are curious about. Yeah. Because that is... Oh, Paradise Lost is the one sent to Themyscira. Oh, oh, yeah, that's okay, the one where okay. she's like, he's like, yeah, it's a Game of Thrones on Themyscira. Ah, uh, like, okay, okay. That, do, you, do, do you mean in terms of plot or in terms of boobage? Maybe both. Because... Is it on HBO? I think, I think, you know, Patty Jenkins might have an issue with that. <laughs> I mean, what do you mean? Like, no, because I mean, Patty Jenkins is no longer in charge. I know, but she worked so hard to create this feminist icon into the big screen. and then Yeah, and then like, she fucked it up with yeah, 1948. 1948? 1984. 1984. 1984. Come on. Come on, guys. A, wo- like, a Wonder really. Woman movie of 1948 would just be like, well, the war's over. I miss him. <laughs> <laughs> And then, of course, after Superman, we gotta have to take on Batman. Oh, before before uh, that, did he say which storyline he wanted to do for Superman Legacy? I don't think so. I mean, the photo they used was the um, the Grant Morrison one. Yeah. Ooh. But yeah, because I have no reference. I'm just responding to Grant Morrison because Grant Morrison is, you know, ooh. Because I do wonder, like, because with Superman, it feels like there are like three ways that people go about it. Mm-hmm. Right. The first being classic symbol of what do you call it goodness the true boy scout yeah right you know as the christopher reeve superman and the old superman tv shows then you have the what do you call it snyder approach where superman can destroy shit um but what is james big fighty fighty and and then you have the third way that you know like grant morrison goes with where you go and a lot of other writers where superman is a sci-fi story because he's an mm. alien. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I do wonder, like, what are they going to do? Because I think the, like, to me, the Zack Snyder Superman came from people thinking that the Boy Scout was old hat. Mm. And also talking about how, like, Brandon Routh never punched anyone. He and just now, stood outside. Yeah. But now that old. Superman just punches everything, I think people are like, I don't know. I know Snyder has a huge fan base. But to me, like... I'm a bit tired of Superman punching things. <laughs> well, I mean, James has what? James first mm, name. Yeah. First name. Uh, James has dubbed the first, like the the first phase as gods and monsters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but still, does that mean punchy Superman or? Hello, I'm Superman. I am a good man. I was created by Canadians who didn't get their due until they went blind. Okay, this doesn't answer your question, but it does answer a little bit of where and time he is. Okay. So Gunn has said that he'll likely be 25 years old. Mm-hmm. And he revealed that he's working. He's a reporter. He's at the Daily Planet. Gunn, who is DC Studio CEO and the movie's writer, confirmed, again, we're coming into a world where superheroes exist and have existed. So, does that mean Batman might be a couple of years older than Superman? Yes, yes. it could be. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, it doesn't answer the question, but yeah. Yeah, we'll it see. doesn't. We'll see. Because, I mean, the use of Grant Morrison's image th- did make it go interesting. Oh, mm. oh, oh. Grant Morrison, Frank, quietly run? Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Then, then we've movie. got Batman, the Brave and the Bold, with, with Damien. Damien. Ooh. Robin's violent. Okay, look. What is it? The Brave and the Bold. Everyone's fan casting Damien right now. <laughs> no, no, no. Like the Brave and the Bold. I was like, do you mean the cartoon? I was, oh no, not the cartoon. Okay then. Because remember the cartoon, right? Yes. Like, oh my god, the Hammy cartoon. I love that Hammy cartoon. No. I haven't seen it, but I just love the idea of it. I had a thought on who could play Damien really well. Who? Who? Uh, Riz Ahmed. How old is he supposed <laughs> to be? Umbrella Academy. Oh fuck yes. 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 Only, I think yes. it's because also Boss Logic did that. That Could, artwork of him is. No, Damien. but as an actor, five? Like, yeah. I'm five still, is amazing. I'm still amazed that he's actually young. 
He's yeah. a child. But his face, his eyes are so mature. I'm like, did you see some shit? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, his character saw. His did you character. escape from a war? Like <laughs> His character saw a lot of shit. But like, as in like you were saying, the actor itself. Yeah, his eyes don't look like a, a teenager's eyes. No. They've seen some shit. Yes. He's a teenager now, isn't he? They casted him No, no, no. He's a young adult. He's like... Now? Is, yeah. When he but casted first him... First season of Umbrella like, Academy. What the... How old is he now? I want to know. He's... I don't know if he's... He will forever be a child. He's 12. (laughs) He's not 12. (laughs) He was 12. Aiden Gallagher is... No, 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 19! Boom! (laughs) He's still a child! Still a child. He still can't drink! Uh, He still can't drink in the US! No, that is a perfect cast, I think, for Damien. Because for Damien... How old is he supposed to... No, because Damien is supposed to be young, but... He's obviously seen some shit because you just spent your entire life being brought up by Ra's al Ghul and his fucking ninjas. Yeah. Talia. And Talia as your mom. Oof. You have Talia as your mom, Ra's al Ghul as your granddad. From the moment you're born, you're being trained on how to kill people. <laughs> Supposedly kind of like Shang-Chi. And then Shang-Chi, around... Shang-Chi, sorry. What? 12, 13, your mom goes, that's your real dad. He's the Batman. He's our enemy. You're going to stay with him for a bit. <laughs> and kill him and what's fucked up is like it's wow like Batman's baby mama got no chill she literally rolls up in a boat like that's your son okay bye <laughs> <laughs> then Batman comes home with a fucking kid and Alfred's like another one sir oh no, this one's my actual kid oh and then and then, and then it says which is the mother Talia oh mm. <laughs> which was a plot that it's weird because the whole Batman sleeping with Talia thing is something that DC tried to retcon. Of course. Too late. But Grant Morrison's run of Batman is famously known for him going, no, everything that has ever happened to Batman is canon. Yes. Even 66 Batman is canon. So everything. And his excuse for like, 66 Batman? It's the 60s. They were high on acid, man. They fucking see balloons popping everywhere and fucking everything's a pow pow. it's just colourful <laughs> man they're fucking tripping bro I'll agree with that reasoning I'll right? agree with it uh, yeah. the Grand Wizard yeah and like his his concept with the 70s 80s Batman in canon is like yeah after all that he's like holy shit man we were doing some fucking crazy shit in the 60s we better you know <laughs> tighten up yes and him being violent in the 80s 90s like lost Robin I'm losing my shit <laughs> so it's it's justified but yeah so, so yes who knows? Raven the Bolt. That's coming. We'll no, see what I mean, casting is coming soon. But would he would he be too old at that point when they actually do shoot Brave and the Bolt? No, the guy Unless looks, he suddenly gets a if he suddenly gets his growth late, spurt at a, late, a late yeah. arrival growth yeah. spurt. Yeah. Like imagine he gets cast and he pops up and it's like Hi guys, I'm like, ready for my I'm like what happened? Because right You're now two he, feet taller. He like can Finn still Wolf. play like 15, 16, 17, that that age. Oh definitely. Yeah. But uh, faster! Hurry up! Hurry up, God! Mm. Uh, then he's doing something. We're getting a something. Oh. Oh. I still feel like the series that, was actually not bad. That, that's, so, like, that series was shafted. That yeah, series was shafted. Because yeah. that one was, yeah. If they wanted to continue shooting, they couldn't get the tax break anymore, so it would have cost forty percent more. And they're like, "Fuck it, then." Really? Was that was that the only reason? I mean. How are you going to shoot Swamp Thing if you're not in a swamp? Yeah, so that was the only reason. They didn't want to pay 40% more. Taxes, man. And the, the, which to me, I'm like, you wouldn't let it play for eight seasons and see what the ratings are before pulling the trigger? Eight seasons? Eight episodes. Eight episodes? Eight. But no, two episodes in. Oh, by the way, it's nope. cancelled, so enjoy it. Yeah. Like I, literally, me, I think I literally also stopped watching it yeah. at that point because I was like, why? Why you? Ma- I'm not going to commit myself to this character. To me, I was continue. like, shit, that was a really good episode. And the first episode. And then, huh? Uh, what? Excuse me? Can't, what? <laughs> like, that just came out of nowhere. I was like, what the fuck? And Swap Thing brings me on to another thing I'm curious about in the gun era. Uh-huh. Because just before gun was announced, you remember, like, it was announced that Keanu Reeves will be returning as John Constantine. Mm. Yes. Oh no. So is that still happening? Because Elsewell, Elsewell. Because Constantine's first appearance was in Swamp Thing. Is Swamp Thing some sort of TV series or a movie? Movie. Swamp Thing's Alan Moore run. Technically, Alan Moore created John Constantine. 
he would. <laughs> yeah, Constantine popped up one day at Swamp Thing Swamp as he usually does, going, "Shit's going down, mate. Fucking do something." Walked away. <laughs> Cameo. Okay. Okay. Cameo. Yeah, so is I it going to be Keanu, Keanu or is he going to be recasting a British dude, or Swamp is? Constantine not even in picture for Swamp Thing's movie. Matt, oh. Matt but Ryan's either way, final jaunt. What happens to Constantine? Keanu Constantine. Because yeah. I, you know, I have a soft spot for. My name's Constantine. John Constantine. Keanu. And, Go to and, hell. and the forearms. <laughs> <laughs> of course, and it's a bit like. This is your final warning. Loading up his crucifix shotgun. Oh no. Go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> 11 hours ago reportedly reportedly oh my god what new site yeah, this one, new what site. is the source oh, yeah the direct <laughs> the what the direct uh, I, uh, no but I mean some of these reports sometimes it's on. true what a, what that this report? Warner Brothers cancelled it ah! which I mean judging from the amount of news that hasn't come out about Constantine 2 these last few months <sighs> As compared to when it came out at Comic Con, where there was huge hype about it, yeah, nothing's happening. I need the tattoos. <laughs> but okay, getting back to Gunslinger. That's annoying. Before I get to one that I know you're excited about, we've also got Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow. That was a movie. Yes, yeah. these are these are movies. I've, oh. I I really want to read this. Uh, this arc. This, 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 this arc. This, yeah, this it version. sounds really interesting. Mm. Yeah, I know. I mean, we. I mean. It, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I mean, we've gotten a glimpse of that kind of story. I mean, because most times when they tell the Supergirl story, it's just like, oh no, you were in the pod longer because you didn't go the same route. Yeah. Or you, you know, got knocked you got off course. Knocked off course, stuck in a wormhole. To which I'm like, she became a teenager in a pod? That sucks. No, no, no. No, no, no. She, no, no, no. The story, I mean, usually it's like she left, she left, um, she left oh, yeah, Krypton. she wasn't the same age. She she left Krypton. She is technically older than Superman. Yes, yeah, she's mm. technically older, but then she lands and goes like, uh, you you were I was supposed to look after you. Okay, yeah. then. <laughs> so and uh, whereas in this one, she's brought up in a different like a small Kryptonian community. Yeah. Okay. Something like that. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't wouldn't isn't, isn't that more in line? Die. Isn't that slightly more in line with the movie from the eighties? Yeah, I didn't watch that one. <laughs> I watched. yeah, I never watched that. <laughs> I watched it that. Looked Bad. Yeah. Why? It looked bad. I'm sorry. But, mm, I like that movie. Look good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. good for you. It's good. This is much. this is just our opinion. Yeah. We like it doesn't mean we don't because like it. You don't it was like that it. time when the the Superman movies were getting bad. Oh. Yeah. Like that was the one. It was, was the same Superman time. Three? Superman like, four when oh, he was fighting oh the my God. nuclear guy. With I don't R- even, Richard Pryor. I didn't even no, reach. that's Superman three. Superman three is Richard Pryor. Then four was what? Four was when he was fighting a dude that was powered by atomic shit. And it was this obvious, like, oh, you know, nuclear disarmament. Hmm. And was he, he fights the guy in the moon. Was, was three the one he went to Niagara Falls? When he went That's in a honeymoon? Two. Oh. Niagara Falls is two. <laughs> yes. Okay. But yes, we're getting a Supergirl movie. Mm. And then, one that I know you're really excited about. Is and the, Sag is too. The Authority Ooh! is getting a film. What? Okay, explain to me yes. what okay. is The yes. Authority. I, first off, that news just took me completely by surprise because I never think of Authority as a DC property, even though it technically is. Mm. But, you know, it was under Wildstorm, mm. which is owned by DC. Wildstorm or Wild Horse? Wild, Wild Horse. Okay. Eh? No, no, no. Wildstorm. 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 The okay, other okay. one's Dark Horse. Dark Horse. Yeah, Dark Horse. Ah, yeah. Sorry. Wildstorm. Wild Horse. And I was introduced to it by Sag, who was a huge Warren Ellis fan back in the day. So ah, Warren Ellis. Okay, I'm pretty then. sure I read that first book on his toilet in his flat. I'm pretty sure of it. Pretty sure I read it in the toilet. But yeah, um, Authority was a game-changing comic book. Mm. Because before that, he was writing... Pl- uh, fuck, what was the other sh- book called? Not Planetary. Um, I can't remember. Someone is probably screaming it out right now. But yeah, he did another series for Wildstorm. Mm which was very intelligent. It was about a world-saving organization, mm. but it was a very, it was, it was not wham, bam, punch, punch, blah, blah, blah. Mm. So sales weren't great, mm. but they didn't cancel the comic because they liked reading it. <laughs> right? So, and I, I found out about this from Warren Ellis' documentary and he felt that was just, you know, irresponsible of him. Because, <laughs> you know, 
he's still a working man at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. know, from a working man background, he's like, I can't make this shit that no one's buying. This is a loss. Uh, yep. I know you guys like it, yeah. but like, guys. So he took the same concept. He's like, okay, let's take all the talking out and let's just fucking, let's, let's Wham, go bam, thank you, ma'am. Michael Bay on it. Okay. okay. So it was the first comic where the scale was ridiculous. You know, even the panels were beautiful and huge, but page one, fucking a country just gets killed. <laughs> like flat out Mass fucked, genocide. You know, by this terrorist organization, which is an obvious like Shang Tsung, Ming the Merciless kind of copy. Uh-uh. Okay. Right? And um, yeah, the authority comes in and they're a super team. And uh, obviously, you know, based on archetypes of superhero yeah. teams. Yeah. And yeah, they are the team that'll be like, we are separate from any government body. We're separate from anyone. We don't answer to anyone. We are here to get the job done. So, hey, you're, fu- you're killing countries. We are going to completely mass genocide destroy you, the island that you come from. And everyone on it. Wow. Boom. Anti- That's how. Yeah. Like, this is like anti hero to the mother book. Yeah. So, oh. because of that, Marvel's created Ultimates. Mm. Ultimates wouldn't exist without the authority. You know? So, it changed how you did superhero team, like, stories because authority fucking sold and yeah that like first storyline they obliterate a country a terrorist country was it the right thing to do if you think about it not sure Hmm. they're just as bad as the bad guys but they're on your side so what do you do yeah second story arc they destroyed an entire earth from another dimension to protect the planet and I think the final story arc they killed God. Jeez. Spoilers. <laughs> they don't flat out say it's God. They don't say it's like a big guy with a beard. But, but it's this entity and the, the best way to describe it would be an all-knowing being. Kill it! <laughs> and yeah, it was really dark as well. Um, Warren Ellis. Because like really? they're, 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 they're versions of Batman and Superman um, are a loving gay couple. Okay. So and and it's great, although the story get takes a turn in the dark direction when one of them gets, I think one of them gets raped by a bad guy, and the other guy loses his shit. I can't remember which storyline that was, but yeah, it's heavy, heavy shit. But with the announcement as well, it's kind of like this is right up James Gunn's alley because okay. if anyone can pull off that material, it's gun. It's gun. Mm-hmm. You know, like he's she's she's shown he can do it with Suicide Squad, and Peacemaker, and Peacemaker, and Peacemaker. But so the Authority, I'm like, not watched. holy shit, this is I. I just hope they have the budget for it. I really hope they, because it's it's such a scale. You know what I mean? Like, it's live action, right? It's supposed to be live yeah, action. Yeah, yeah. Because all their stories are huge scale. Like like I said, they store they destroyed a country, they destroyed a planet, they destroyed a god. Uh, okay. Unless Gunn decides to, you know, okay, let's release these these Slater movies first. Let Warner Brothers have a bit of confidence in these few films first and see. And then maybe they might give him a bigger budget for Maybe. I'm just for saying, authority. you can't really do authority without a budget. Mm. You just can't. Everything's too big. Unless you scaled it down. And if you scaled it down, it wouldn't be the same show. We'll see. In Gunn, we yeah. trust at and the moment. Got one of the coolest uh, lead team leaders ever in my opinion Jenny Sparks she okay. is she is the spirit of the 20th century literally literally okay. she was born January 1st 1900 and she is the spirit of the 20th century and that she is electricity Ooh. Jubilee she's a blonde British girl who chain smokes has no time for your shit wears a Union Jack t-shirt and jeans and his electricity mm. she's here to fuck you up <laughs> nice <laughs> okay. ah Warren so Love after you. after James Gunn announced all Stormwatch. of that Stormwatch that's the name of the fucking comic he did before Authority yes there Stormwatch. we go Stormwatch yeah. <laughs> so after all that news came out of course more bits and pieces came out so I'll just go read off a few headlines of more some stuff interesting stuff that? yeah so, James Gunn apparently said that Henry Cavill wasn't fired. He just was never hired. 
Which leads on to that whole theory. Which means The Rock never got him back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, we can smell what The Rock is cooking now, can't we? And to which he also added that he called the previous DC leadership, like Gunn called the previous DC leadership, <laughs> fucked up. Are we quoting him on that? Yeah, literally, fucked up. Hey, he's, he's calling it how he sees it. And yeah, the cancelled Batgirl film was not releasable, said Peter Saffron. Hmm. Mm. So I'm like, either they were lying that first time about the tax thing, or... I'm pretty sure the tax thing's still legit. But I want to know why it's not releasable. Only what did they shoot? Out. What did they shoot? <laughs> Only ways to find out. Uh, James Gunn also said that Henry Cavill was dicked around by former DC leadership. Uh, yes, he what? was what? dicked around. Henry Cavill, James Gunn said that Henry Cavill was dicked around yeah, by the previous... Obviously. obviously! Yeah. They did not treat him right. No! I am so glad that he's getting his Warhammer movie. They did not treat him... He's doing Warhammer? Yeah! Yeah! After he after he left Witcher suddenly... Immediately! After, Warhammer. Yeah. Warhammer or Warhammer 40k? Warhammer 40k! 40K. Oh shit! He's he a gamer. Such a big fan. He's he such, such a gamer. A, he is such one of us. He he is one of us. Yeah. Oh, so shit. that was the other piece of news that Gun dropped out about this whole Superman thing with Cavill and like. I swear, <sighs> like I remember, I remember during like when Christopher Reeve, uh, broke his back. Mm. I remember my mom. It's weird. It's like such an old school, Malay Muslim kind of point of view, about it. But, mm-hmm. you know because for some people some people truly believe the role of Superman is cursed mm. yeah I hear this yeah and it's it's interesting because from my mom's point it's, it is from a religious standpoint it's like you cannot play God yes mm. you know you Superman is practically a God mm. he's because, an alien because that's the thing like if because if you look back Christopher Reeve broke his back uh, George Reeves got shot. alcoholism got shot you know um Dean Cain Dean Cain is fine Dean Cain was doing what uh unsolved no he wasn't doing unsolved mysteries Ripley's believe it or not Ripley's believe it or not that's a him choice that's a him thing is it is it Mm mhm okay and then then even Terry Hatcher tried to do some movies she did she got big on Desperate Housewives Mm. Yeah. yeah she tried some other shit you know Tom Willey uh, he was Kane and Lucifer. That's mm. the thing, like, with the TV shows, those guys so far Michael seems Rosenbaum. to be okay. But then Henry Brandon Cavill. Routh. <laughs> yeah, Brandon Routh. You know, like, they've all managed to redeem themselves, but it always seems like that role is a, just a tough one. Mm. Something's gonna happen. Yeah. I mean, Cap- Cavill's doing pretty well for him. Pre- pretty, yeah. pretty okay. Cavill yeah. is fine. But I, I mean, I, also... but, but, but I mean, Cavill only lightly touched the role. <laughs> But that's Ever the thing, so he wasn't light supposed touch. to lightly touch it. He was supposed to be Superman. Yeah. <sighs> such, a, such a good Superman too. You know, and yeah, like, to me, there's nothing wrong with this Superman. What was wrong was the script. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean... I mean, there's still the current TV Superman. What's it? Is, is he still current? Is, is the show still running? I have not... I have uh, which one, Superman and Lewis? Well, yeah. yes. The Flash is on its final season. And uh, I have a feeling that that's going to be the death knell for the CW shows. Oh, oh, speaking of which, oh, I got to oh, get to this. Oh, oh, oh. I got to get to this. Oh. No, because, oh yeah, so Doom Patrol's ending, unfortunately. Doom but Patrol's Titans ending. is over! Titans is ending. Titans is over! Pennyworth is ending. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I think Gotham Knights isn't even happening anymore. No, it is. Oh, shit! It's still happening because I saw a trailer for it. It's still happening. Oh, God. Only because Castiel from uh, Supernatural's in it. Oh, God. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. So, yes, that's uh, that's been the episode this week, I think, because we've... N- it's supposed to be a random conversation, but nicely, we just talked about two Jameses today. James Cameron and James Oh, Gunn. yes. Yes, that is right. So, it's a James's episode. So, Jimmy Joe. And just adding one more piece of news that totally not DC-related, but still James Gunn-related. Gone. Which I didn't expect coming. So, he wrote the screenplay for the first Scooby-Doo film. Yes. A live action film. Yes. Mm-hmm. Apparently, he was pushing for it to be an R rated film, and apparently there of was a it was. <laughs> there was a kiss between a very steamy kiss apparently between Velma and Daphne. That yeah, so it was supposed to be very R rated, and it was supposed to be practical effects. But Lee Henson had already done the Scooby Doo puppet, of course. So I'm like, hey, Gun, 
you know, it's not too late to redo that film, right? Yeah. Give, no, because I mean, he's definitely not in the company that controls that. Hey, wait. Warner Brothers. Is it under Warner Brothers? Yes. No. Hanna Barbera's under Warner? Wellmer's on HBO. Hanna Barbera is Warner Brothers. Okay. I thought, ha- wait, I thought Hanna Barbera was owned by uh, Turner. But, wait. <laughs> Unless Turner is owned by Warner. Because no. Scooby Doo was. Turner, yeah. Oh, is it no. Hanna Barbera. Uh, right, Turner. MGM. Yeah. Absorbed into Warner. Yeah. Oh. Absorbed into Warner. Ah. So it's owned by Warner Brothers Animation. So yeah, it is Warner. Wait, that means Warner owns Cartoon Network? Yes, they do. What? Yeah, yeah. They own... That's why everyone was so upset because Cartoon Network closed because of either... What's it? HBO Max was doing something. That's why they closed down Cartoon Network or some shit like that during the whole Warner Brothers shake-up. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, completely, completely unrelated but kind of related. Uh, it was just completely random, but because you brought up cartoons, it just reminded me of an article I read yesterday. Uh-huh. Kind of interesting. So, you like Family Guy, right? Yeah. Thoughts on Family Guy? Yeah. 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 Apparently, to other animators in the industry, a lot of them fucking hate Family Guy. Why? Cause of Is it because of Seth? To them, it's lazy. Ha. Why? So, okay. for The Simpsons, they're like, dude, it's the exact same concept. Yeah. What the fuck? You know? Um, but that's the thing. Like, So, when uh, South Park did that episode, The Network Wars. Ah, uh, yeah. Trey and Matt got thank you notes from... The Simpsons from King of the Hill? You're doing God's work. <laughs> nice. <laughs> like they were they were pissed. They were literally pissed with Family Guy. Cause to them it was just like like for Trey Park and Matt Stone, they were annoyed because people were like, Oh, I love South Park and I and I, uh, you know, I love your show and Family Guy. You you guys must like Family Guy too, right? Like they'd get that a lot and be like, No, we don't. Wow. You know, they yep. And to them, their point of view is simple. It's like, look, we know people like the show. We know it has an audience. We know that to a lot of people, it's funny. We just have no respect for them as artists. Mm. They're lazy as in like what? They're just to them, copying. okay, so yeah, for like the Simpsons creators, when Family Guy popped up, it's like, dude, we're on the same network. It's literally the same thing. You have a family with a goofy dad, a dog, a baby, you know, kids, blah, blah, blah. That was their issue with that. Mm-hmm. For the South Park guys... To them, the writing and the jokes were lazy. Yes. You know, because to them, when they're controversial, they're making a point yeah. about something. It's yeah. always it's about something. Yeah. You know, and to them, the jokes in Family Guy are just for the sake of it. Uh, we're making a black joke for the sake of yeah. Yeah. being funny. Yeah. yeah. We're doing this joke for the sake, you know, it's not saying anything about the issue. Yeah. yeah. You know, when, when South Park does it, it's satire, Family Guy... It's just for the hicks. You kind of put... You, it's just for the yucks. Yeah. Yeah. You would put it under satire because that's where it fits. But, but it's not really it's satire. Not, it's not great satire. Yeah. You know? And for them as well, for a lot of these animators as well, an, the cutaway to them is lazy. Because to them, which that South Park episode was about, like... Yeah. Are they even writers or is it just a manatee putting random balls yeah, in a fucking yeah. thing? I remember that. <laughs> you know? So, yeah, they and yeah, Mike uh, Judge never liked the Family Guy either. I mean, I understand. Mike Judge, I understand. Do they feel the same about American Dad? I mean, American, American Dad is American a copy of Family Guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's the same thing. <laughs> and Cleveland so, Show is a copy of Family Guy. <laughs> and a copy of uh, 70s black family shows. Yeah. Sitcoms. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, that's their point. It's like, it's fucking derivative. Mm. You know, like, it should not be treated as big as it is. Yeah. I'm, but also, part of me is like, Hey, come on lah. Dia nak makan, kau nak makan, kau makan sama-sama lah. Fuck it. Mm. And speaking of King of the Hill, that's another piece. <laughs> it's coming back. Oh yeah, because it got cancelled. Yeah, and my judge is just redoing oh, so it's all, all the Because there's a Paramount network. Yeah. There's a Paramount so streaming now, so. Beavis and Butthead went through, so like, King mm. of the Hill, next. Oh, God. That'll make Satch happy. He fucking loves King of the Hill. Oh, God. I am not surprised. It's the of these if, cartoons. Is that why he likes Leather Kenny? 
Probably. Like I said, <laughs> he likes watching creature. white trash. <laughs> He's a simple, simple creature. So with that, I think we've talked about two Jameses in this episode. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That would be a nice topic. I can figure out some cover art from there. Uh-huh. Two if Jameses anytime, kissing. If at any time that you are like missing the two joke. Two Jameses kissing? <laughs> You know, while you're listening to this on Spotify or whichever you're listening to Spotify or your podcast network, um, whichever platform you're listening to this podcast, you know, you can always watch us on Spotify, actually, also. On, on Spotify, Spotify we have video as well. Um, uh, and also, you can find us Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, yeah. every social media platform, we're there. You can head to our website as well, geeksinmalaysia.com. Mm-hmm. Or if you'd like to help us out, you can go to ko-fi.com slash geeksinmalaysia. We even still have a Friendster. Is, that, Do we? is Friendster even around anymore? I don't know. I think I, the, I think the current question. thing is Bondi. Oh yeah. What the fuck is Bondi? I we don't will know. See yeah. you after this. And yes. so this has been our episode. Check us out on YouTube as well. My name is Amelia Chan. I'm Nate Dorian. And I'm Kyle Lamba. Keep geeking out, yo. Let's-